All right, it is uh, 601 on um, April 9th, 2024. I'm going to call this Board of Public Works meeting to order, and we'll start out with the uh, let's do the Pledge of Allegiance. The Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. <clears throat> Thank you. Uh-huh. Yep, no, that was the next thing I was going to do. Um, we'll do a roll call. Um, I am here with Chairman Chuck Porter. Um, David Wisnicki is absent tonight. Alderman um, Yusuf Hassan, Hassan is um, excused. He's in another meeting. Um, Clark Johnson is, is present. Jonathan Webster I'm here. is present. Uh, Ken Skaronsky here is present. Thank you. Becky Specht here. is here. Thank you. Also attending is City Engineer Gwen Morrow, here. Highway Superintendent Kevin Schleter, here. and Assistant City Engineer Tyler Feinlich. Here. Got it. Okay. Um, roll call, Pledge of Allegiance. Next item on the agenda is the reading and approval of the minutes from the February 13th, 2024 meeting. Everybody has it in their packets. Okay, I'll, I'll move to go ahead and approve as presented. A second. Okay, motion made by Mr. Webster and seconded by uh, Mark Johnson. Thank you very much. It's been uh, moved and second. Uh, we got a, yeah. All those in favor say aye. 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 All opposed? Hearing all opposed, the ayes have it. Motion carries. Uh, next item 603 p.m. public comment period. Uh, being that there's nobody here, step up for a public comment period. We will also close the public comment period at 6.03. Thank you. Uh, unfinished business. The note on here is March 12th, 2024 meeting was canceled. I think that's pretty much it, right? Yeah, I don't think there was anything else. Okay, moving to the next item on the agenda is number five. New business, Department of Public Works purchase of a 2023 <coughs> Chevy Silverado LT 5500 medium duty pickup truck. And um, Kevin is going to make the presentation on this. Yep, DPW is asking for permission to uh, purchase, like you said, a 23 Chevy Silverado medium duty truck uh, from Holt Chevrolet. Uh, it's outfitted with a dump box already along with storage boxes and a tarp system the first page is from the dealership with the cost of the chassis and the uh, outfitting of the dump box along with the discount uh, we also had them include a uh, extended warranty because we've been putting that on all our vehicles as of lately uh, just because of the cost of repairs is so out of control uh, the second page is what uh, has been upfitted on it already. Like I said, the dump box, storage boxes, fenders, strobe lights. And the third page, we're asking to uh, go ahead with number one, three, and four from Caspers. And that would be putting a salter and a plow on it. And the hydraulics and electronics for the plow and uh, salter. All right. So, do we have somewhere in this a total buy it now price with the additional options? Uh, I I added them up. It's one thirty three three forty eight. That's one thirty three three forty eight. That's everything. One hundred thirty three thousand three hundred and forty eight dollars. Yes, including the. Three items on the third page for the upgrade. 
Yes, one, three, and four. Okay. Um, just my own question real quick. Is this a gas or a diesel truck? This is a diesel, the Duramax. Okay. That we've had great success uh, on our other two pickup Chevys. And they're running great. <coughs> right. Um, does anybody else have any questions or comments regarding the request for purchase? He yes, Mr. Webster. Um, uh, I'm assuming this is on our on the capital budget for the year. This is included in the capital budget for 2024. It was 140,000 approved. Okay. And uh, so I believe we can still make, uh, you know, we don't have to go back to council for that approval or? I, when, if I get your approval tonight, then I take it to the next council meeting and ask, tell them that. So we're really we recommending council. Yeah. Thank you. Yes, thank you. Thank you for asking the question for clarification. Um, does anybody else have any questions about this truck? Not seeing any questions, I guess we're going to need a, a motion to uh, recommend <laughs> the council okay. the purchase of the truck. I got that right. Yes. Okay. okay, so I'll make the motion. Second. Uh, to well, let me finish the motion because um, get it on here this way. To purchase a 2023 uh, Chevy Silverado LT 5500 medium duty pickup truck from Holtz Motors uh, as presented in DL 124 and a 692, uh, which is in our packet. And there's 592. Is it 592 on top there? On here? Uh, and that and that's $104,936. And then from Casper's Truck Equipment, uh, items one, three, and four, which are the Western side, Western truck side, Snow X Stainless Steel Renegade, and the Western Snowplow, uh, those three items together at $28,412, that brings the total to not more than $133,348. Okay, we have a motion by Jonathan Webster, seconded by Ken Skaronsky. Are there um, any further discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor of the motion signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Hearing none, the ayes have it. Okay, thank you. <coughs> this is getting easier. <laughs> it does, it does. Um, next item is uh, agenda item six, commencing city projects, municipal code 19-9C, Department of Public Works <coughs> Campus Expansion Project. If I may start this, I just wanna point out that notice there's a different format to your agenda tonight. Yes. And so uh, it was pointed out that section 19-9 is something we should actually in our code that we need to follow to commence projects. So we're going to present this. It'll be on a monthly monthly basis as far as new projects that we're talking about doing. Later we're going to talk about how 19-9 really does supply to this, but we're going to discuss that in the next, uh, next item on the agenda. All right. So included in the packet um, <coughs> for this item, there's a couple of drawings. So one is uh, kind of just a plan view of, of our D current DPW site and some proposed improvements. Um, and then the, the next two pages are kind of some architectural drawings of um, floor plan layout of a building addition and then kind of the elevation. So as, as Len kind of pointed out, so going forward, you're probably gonna see a lot more frequent public works projects coming to this board for um, recommendation of approval to proceed with design or bidding processes for the project. So this is this one's a little bit uh, past that point, but uh, we still wanted to bring it, um, trying to explain what, what's going to happen at the DPW site, and then um, give you guys a chance to give any comments, ask any questions, and, um, 
we'd, we'd still probably look to get a recommendation just to proceed with the project um, okay. to council with the knowing the fact that this municipal code 199c does not really apply in this project and that's included at the end of the packet but we can touch on that so um the plan sheet that plan view <coughs> um if you're looking at it in your packet north of the, the the top of the page there so um and i have the existing dpw site on the on the screen so last year we bid out um a storage facility separate from the existing building um and that's i have xed out here on the plan sheet so uh, we bid that out with some other options on the site pricing came back just a little bit too much and it just wasn't wasn't workable so uh, we kind of regrouped with the architect and engineers and we are now looking at doing a building addition, which is shown in red <coughs> on the plan sheet. So um, that's that's really the, the base of what the proposed project is. So that building addition is a, you can see the kind of the floor plan layout on the next page. Um, it shows the additional trucks and storage that, that Kevin and his crews will get. Um, the good thing with that is it fits into the, the future build out of the DPW site. So um you know this this building addition doesn't doesn't leave them stuck in any way we can add on to that as, as intended to get the full build out of the dpw site so um included with this project that's going out for bid it'll actually be on the street tomorrow for bid um is that building addition um we have an alternate for the extension of 80th street to the south which would include a new recycling center a drop-off site for all the residents um, so that would move from the Ryan Road frontage down off of 80th, 80th Street there, if that got accepted. Um, some additional driveway uh, in and out of the, the new building addition. Um, and then some minor stuff that, that's included as alternates is um, the salt farm needs some repairs on, on the east wall that's included as an alternate. Um, <clears throat> and then some, some site utilities that go along with the roadway extension. Uh, and then everything kind of shown in, in green on the, the south and east portion of the site, the retention ponds and the landscaping, that's going to be, that's going to be done by DPW um, later this year, kind of in, in coordination with the contractor for um, whatever combination of the proposed projects that, that we would accept. But the, the main goal is to get that building expansion um, so that Kevin and the DPW guys can have more space for trucks, equipment, keep things protected better, and um, have a more workable, useful space. So the the third one that just kind of shows so it kind of shows you the existing versus the the building addition um so one of the you might notice the, the different color blues part of the reason is um the newer addition blue will go on a little bit uh darker than the existing because the existing has faded some uh over the years so the architect recommended that so that when that new paint does fade it'll match with the current building so. So I, we're, I guess, here to, to answer any questions. If you guys have any specific questions or thoughts on the, kind of the proposed layout, um, or any comments in general. I don't know. I, don't, I do have some, but oh, I was, okay. I'm allowing other people to speak for you. OK, you can get it started. OK. Um, so uh, let me ask it this way. Um, the, the building that we currently have was built like what 20 years ago, give or take. I think that it was 1995. It was 95. So 30 years. Wow, that's been a long time. Let's say that. <laughs> I remember when we were going through the process, so I remember where you know what to build it. So, so actually, we've done pretty, we did pretty good in terms of uh sizing it up to, to handle the current times, correct? I, I would, I'm just asking, is that kind of a statement to, that we can make that the original building that we put together, that was put together and it came in 95 and it lasted us 20 years, there are, there are some, large enough to handle what we've had till now? There are some that would say that we right-sized it back in 1995 and we upgraded. Okay. So we do have, so for example, the former city garage, Mm -hmm. It's completely crammed full of things like okay. an interest 
puzzling narratives and how they fit. This is kind of where I'm and going. Also, also, the old city hall thoughts. Okay, so I, this is kind of where I'm going with this. Is I'm, ju I'm just I'm kind of getting to the point. I'm trying to to put an understanding as to you know this addition adding looks like uh, twelve more bays for vehicles in the new addition. Uh, is that right sizing for today, or what's our projection on on those? On, on that size and, and our how what's our projected you you know uh, how long do you, do we project that we'll be able to maintain that size I guess that's where I'm coming from do you understand be, my question yeah I understand it'll be full of data it'll be full of, full of the day that we start we talked a lot of stuff outside right now. okay that's my kind of question I'm trying to get to so so uh, would there still be other things that are parked outside at this point in time? No, no, until down the road, if the fire department would there, you have to take the two of them down. Then, then we have more issues. Yep. Okay. So what we're talking about here is uh, we've outgrown our current building in the 30 years that it's been up and that we're we're right sizing to the existence of what is today. Yes. Okay. I think that that's important to note. Um, uh, I I understand from the council perspective. I, I would assume that this is a, a cost uh, to not expand farther than we need. Assuming that's where we're coming. From. Yes. Okay. Thank. You. That's my question. That's where I was going. Yeah, good question. Thank you. Just to give a little more background, so the this is an area of view of right now. So the the two ball fields, so with this project, those those are going to get taken out completely. So the the retention ponds will be in this area down here, and this will be then used as material storage for um, And then, as Kevin kind of mentioned, you know, obviously there's been talks of a of a potential future fire department building here, this portion of the site. So if that were to move forward in the near future and these two buildings were to go away, then then essentially this addition would, you know, be a wash because those would be gone then. Right. So We'd, yeah. So so we would not be gaining anything new correct. in that scenario. Yep. But it's, I mean, it's important to remember with this building addition that it is, it's designed around the future build out. So, um, so along the east side here would be a, I believe, a mechanics bay that would get built on and attached to the punch out walls, and then north side would be offices, and then um, basically another almost an equal amount to this would be extended south. So, so it's like Plan B for yes. future expansion. Yep, yep. So it fits into the whole campus future, um, but it also works within the budget we're kind of constrained to. And the fire department's not moving up there. So fire department's got some convincing to do. Have what? Has some convincing to do that they are ready to. I, I personally think it's a, a very smart move to build a fire station there. Um, a little background. When you look at time of travel from fire station on 60th Street, it takes them so long to get out to Ryan Road and then head east or west that this site is very advantageous to them. So if we were to keep that at the at the uh, industrial park, we would need to build a new station down in the southwest corner. Of the if they were to get rid of the one on 60th Street and build a two station fire station right here, so when the alarm goes, they could either head west or head west, they could cover more territory with this station, east and west, and they could also better assist the other stations. So Ultimately, in the city, you would have three fire stations instead of ultimately having four fire stations. It, it, it really makes a lot of sense. It's a perception thing. Why, why do we need to get rid of a perfectly good station and, and relocate it? But it's, it's when you look at ultimate three stations versus ultimate four station scenario, this makes a lot of sense. Thank you. But there, there's got to be a lot more discussion and convincing the public of that. Understood. So then if I'm, I mean, I'm looking at how tight these bays look. 
far as getting, I mean, are, are those, where's the access doors for those bays? Is it on the, um, we'll come off AU Street. Okay. So ultimately, you would drive through the existing building to get to this area okay. for, for the park vehicles, but time being, the access would come off of the east. And it is definitely built with plans of expansion in mind. So. Yeah, so the new offices would get, would basically be on the west side of this building. Okay. The east side of the building would have the mechanics bay, and then the existing building that, as we know it today, would be remodeled. So get rid of all the office break room space and turn that into various spaces like for parks maintenance, tree maintenance, those kinds of things. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, is this more or less, you, you don't need any action to report on this, do you? So we would like a recommendation to proceed with this project. Um, more, and it, but I apologize for coming to you late in the process, but it was recently brought to our attention that we need to start following this 19 municipal code. Yeah, and uh, so that's why we're here, but probably more importantly, if you have any thoughts or comments or why are you doing this, you know, that's that's uh, we're willing to say yeah that's a great idea and maybe we can go talk to our architect to tweak the plan. So in reality, that that's what the major need is. But uh, technically, a permission to think this project's a good idea and should proceed. And we're going to talk about how it's not applicable to 19-9. You want to table this and come back to it later in the meeting. We can talk about 19-9. Or uh, well, that sounds like a good proposition to table this for the moment and let's just rewrite yeah because that's yeah. item yeah seven uh, 19-9c maybe we should look at that and then come back to this and see how, the, how they go together so yeah do i don't know do we need to have a motion to to move to a different topic and then come back i'm asking You know, I, I don't know that you do, but if you do, it makes you feel better, that would be perfectly acceptable. Well, how about this? I'll just suspend discussion on this for right now, okay. and, and we're going to go to uh, Agenda 7B real quick and discuss that because they're related, so we can come back to this real quick, all right? That sounds fine. Sound good to everybody? Yep. All right. Let's go to that uh, 7B. And, um, so I, I will say that I've asked the, the mayor and the administrator for time to sit down and talk about this. Because when you when you read how this, is, and I'm not, I can only speculate what happened in 2002 that made them write this. But 19-9C is the Board of Public Works procedure, and it just really doesn't make sense to a lot of projects that do today. Um, so if if you read it, start with Chapter 19 and read through it, initiate a initiation project. So it can either be recommended by a city engineer or the Board of Public Works. So you could initiate a project and say, hey, this is a great idea. Let's, we should do something like this. His, historically, or currently, I should say currently up to right now, pretty much the city engineer has been the recommendation. I take the Common Council and get their buy-in on it. If they, if they think it's a good idea and can put it in the budget, then that's typically what triggers how projects happen. But so... Recommendation of city engineer or board of public works. So I, we've been doing that. I've been I've been the city engineer. I'll take the common council and basically say, here, common council. Here's a project we think we should do. Gets added to the budget and then kind of proceed from there. So that that part we've been complying with. B city council on adoption of a motion to consider the project. Refer project to respective committee for recommendations. Follows board of public works for all public works projects. Me the whole for all. Public buildings and grounds, which I guess technically this public works building would be a building, but uh, it is a public. So first off, there's a there's a the definition of a public works project. A building is also a public works project that's by state statute. So that's kind of confusing when you read through this. The finance committee for all projects for finance studies and methods of financing. So we do. So for example, this building that we just talked about. That has gone through finance because they've, they've had to put that in the budget and then discuss that in the borrowing for, for dollars. 
In the procedural steps for Board of Public Works, here's what is written. I'll just try to read through them quickly. Determine the area affected by the proposed drainage project. Well, this isn't a drainage project. Determine if the proposed project can feasibly be done with city labor or if a private contractor would be required or both. Okay, so we're going to move some dirt around the back to make some of the mounding, but this DPW really isn't built to build a building. Estimate cost of labor, materials, and rental equipment required with the use of city labor forces. Again, it just doesn't seem realistic that we'd expect DPW to build a building. Provide alternate cost of labor materials if a private contractor would be required. So our, our consultant is, is working on that. We don't have that number yet for an estimate. Submit a unit cost on the basis area area assessment benefits, assessing cost material. And this is not a project we would assess. So um, propose alternate methods of assessment. Again, we're not assessing this project. Consider the recommend consider and recommend a project priority and start date. Um, th that would be under your purview. Um, incorporate the above determination into writing and submit the same along with recommendations of council via the city clerk. We shall submit to the finance committee for its consideration and recommendations. So in theory, you would have to go through all that effort before it even goes to finance, which seems kind of backwards because you talk about projects and finance decides whether we got the money and then that's kind of what otherwise this project would literally take years uh, the finance committee doesn't meet every month in fact they only meet a handful of times each year and for the most part it centers around the budget times when they when they meet so that's that's what see is i think what if i could speculate what happened in 2002 the idea was that they really were only thinking about a storm sewer project storm project that they would assess. So, you know, if we do a ditching project, how would we assess the neighbors and so forth? I can tell you that it's, it's enough of an issue to try to assess for water, sewer, street lights, pathway, um, to get us involved in doing drainage projects to assess, I think would, I can't say it would never happen, but it'd be extremely hard to talk to the neighbors and convince folks that they should be paying for a ditching project. I, I don't know what your history on the board is. If there haven't been any projects that we've ever assessed for, I've not ever heard of any. Uh, I talked to Tom Bakalarski in the finance department. He wasn't aware of any. So having said that, it just seems like C needs to be gutted and rewritten. I do think it, it's appropriate to come to Board of Public Works and discuss projects that we do. Uh, maybe I, I would like to see a, a way we could insert you into this process. I just don't think it's a very good process as laid out. So that's. That's my thought and consideration. I'd like to hear your thoughts so I can take those comments to the, like I said, the mayor and the administrator. I'm going to talk to them next week. Next week, I believe, regarding this issue, and I want to sit down and and say, here's here's after the Board of Public Works looked at this, here were some of their thoughts. Uh, do you agree with me, or do you think I'm out in left field on this? I guess I'd like to know your thoughts on. This. My personal opinion, it sounds reactionary. Like this was the reaction of something that didn't go quite as well as they somebody wanted it to, and so they instituted this procedure to try to cover that. That's what it kind of sounds like. I I could imagine that. I, again, I'm speculating. I, I am I am also, but just by the way it's worded, and some of the stuff that they, and some of the buildup in the first two areas A and B, and what they're saying is like. It almost sounds like some project went very, very wrong and somebody was trying to fix it so it didn't happen again. Kind of what it sounds like. But again, we're yeah. speculating. I can't even think of what the project would have been. I'm thinking back and nothing comes to mind. Um, I, I don't know. I'll have to think about it. Does anybody else have any questions or comments regarding um, this item? Well, I think. Yeah, I do. Okay. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I, I, I do agree with you. I think that this is just not how a project for us would generally work. Um, because normally, what, what it seems to me, what would normally happen, you know, you, yourself as a city engineer, whoever is a city engineer, they have a project that they want to do. They want to make a building. They want to, I don't know what it would be, um, you know, um, Whatever it may be, it might be, I, I can't even think of what something would be, but you go to, uh, 
you, you, you first kind of go to the council, you know, because this board kind of is a technical review, if you will, and making sure that we're considered that that when you're doing stuff, that that you know we kind of look at it as a as from a technical standpoint, does it make sense? We're not dealing with as much with the finances. We're making sure that when you buy a truck, you know, it's meeting your responsibilities that you're in within the budget that we're trying to meet, all of those types of things. We we don't generally start that project. I can't think of one that we've started really. Uh, you know that was large. I'm, I'm just not saying we can't. I just don't don't recall one like this that we started. Uh, maybe actually this building might have been one because it, it, when this building was built, they they created a a subcommittee that included a couple of members of this board and a couple of members of another board. Maybe it was finance. Maybe it was you know a couple of and then. The engineer at the time, and they met together individually outside of this board to to, to determine what they wanted to do and what mm -hmm. how how to proceed. This board really didn't have a lot to do except for yeah, this looks good. That's what our subcommittee put together. But a building under this you know, should go to committee of the whole, not even board. That that's my point. I don't know why we're included in this, uh, except for from the point of view when it gets to the point that that council. Has kind of approved it. They, you come back here and and, and 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 get our input from a technical perspective. You know, from you know, we got members of this board who are engineers and public and dealt with public works and 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 dealt with different. You know, we can add different things in into the whole process. Uh, to but but we're not people who generally start something like this. We're kind of we look at something that's already been approved or has been moving forward and there's a design or something in place and we can add comment to it, to it maybe ask some questions back and forth you know like we did tonight how where does this stand are we are are we are we're just getting ourselves back to back to even we're not getting ahead we're back to even you know that that's the type of thing that I think that we can convey and, and bring forth and hope and pray nothing goes wrong with the project. <laughs> well, I mean, I mean, but 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 we're not running the project. No. The project is like, being run by whatever entity yeah. we're bringing in to, and, and to run the project. And if you recall, when we first the first iteration of the DPW building, when we were talking about you know the need for a DPW building, we did come to you and talk to you about. It. Mm -hmm. In fact, we included Ken yes. on the committee to help select the architect right. involved. So. You know, I, I, I do like involving you guys as part of the process. And, and, and I think that's appropriate. I'm, I'm, I'm not saying no, but, I, you know, it, like I said, you know, to, to include someone from the board that can act as a, as a liaison, if you will, to, to your process, that makes sense. I'll be, I'll be advertising for design of a pathway on Pewds for St. Martin's the 76th. I'm going to I'm gonna be looking for a committee to help review the evaluation. I was anticipating I would come to this board and say, can one of you sit on this committee, you know, kind of thing. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I, I do imagine, I'd like to see you involved, like involved in the process. Maybe not necessarily where everything, because one of the other things, I think this really ties Common Council's hands. So it just says Public Works Project. So if they were to instruct me at a council meeting to build a $1,000 worth of sidewalk, that is a, by state statute, a Public Works Project. Does yeah. that mean I can't just go out and have them do that? No, I would have to, if I were to follow this, it would it would give me a whole iteration going back, and it would be several months before we could ever get anything done. And I think the important thing that I'm trying to bring up is, is we generally haven't dealt with a financial picture other than to say, did you come into the, have you, have you met the budget that was put forth? If not, we have to do something different or go back and ask, to, to meet that budget and you 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 know I mean uh, so so like I said we're more I, I've always considered this board more board more of a technical feedback you know to get another set of eyes to looking at your uh, what you're proposing to do and like a review board and yeah exactly you know that's what we are we're we're an advice and consent board you are I mean technically you are recommending 
Well, okay, but that, okay, recommending board, I say advice and consent, that's kind of a, another way of saying the same thing. Well, I, I'm just throwing that, that thought out there from my perspective. Um, I, got, I got two questions real quick. Well, comments. One, you know, Glenn made the comment about like if it was a storm sewer and a storm retention pond thing, where let's say the city engineer were to look at uh, like on 116th Street where you've got some water problems, and you bring that to this board and say, if we got to come up with a proposal to resolve this problem, I can see that falling into this this thing right here. Because somebody's bringing up a problem in the city and we're trying to come up with a, a, a remedy. That was all on that particular thing. But what was that project that Ken was involved with? Uh, I thought that was something over on 68th Street, wasn't it? Was it well, or is this the it's building project that we're planning for this? Oh, it was. Okay. He was, right. he was on the committee that and we got an that. architect. <clears throat> yeah, we, we, we looked at, narrowed it down to two architects and we basically interviewed them and went and looked at some of the areas. So this was the project. Okay. I, I knew it was, I didn't remember what, what the project was. Well, it, I was just going to say, reading this kind of like micromanages. We're not trying to do that. That's not our position here. Right. No. We're a recommending body. Um, so, and and I I I don't know. I never envisioned this board as having that kind of authority on certain things either. You know what I mean? Um, I don't know. I can. Yeah. It almost seems like it's micromanaging. And again, it almost feels like it was a reaction to the problem that it, that it must have happened at one so, time that was initiated. You're looking to have this streamlined and our input on it. Yeah, I, I want your input. Like I said, I'm going to sit down with the mayor and administrator. If we indeed need to start following 19.9, I would suggest we need to rewrite 19. You know, to, to be more of a. I, 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 I would, I mean, all for openness, all for, you know, make sure everyone understands what's going on, but I don't want, the way I read this, it seems like it really cripples the process. Mm -hmm. I agree. I, I, I agree. mean, I agree. We, we talk about the cost of things, we talk about the needs of things, ad nauseum at Cowan Council, and, it, you know, now it's on YouTube, everybody who wants to watch it, they, you know, I, I don't hide anything, and we come talk to you when, you know, those kinds of issues, and maybe we, maybe we would, uh, Maybe make you part of the process when we like contractor yourself. I don't know, like that. Even that would delay because you only meet once a month. Only sure. you know, that, that kind of. Thing. I would I would relay one other project that kind of came back to us similarly to this, and that was that connectivity project with yes. the, on sixty on uh, uh, what's the road just south of Ross and uh, Brun Brun Drive going across there. Uh, we we connected some some. So that was a project where we were there. I think it came from the connectivity committee to connect mm -hmm. uh, some walkways, some some walkways some sidewalks through there, yeah, through there on Run Drive, and uh, it went through. It was all approved by the by the uh, council. Then it came back to us to say, uh, you know, stamp this, and we we had like twenty people yelling at us in the meeting to say. Stop it! Well, I, and we, we took the position that this has already been approved by the council to do. You, you, we can't. We're, we're as a recommending board. It wasn't our position to stop it. It's our position to you know, oversee, approve, oversee yeah. and make sure that it was that that the engineering <clears throat> that was done to put the sidewalk in met standards. Mm -hmm. And that's the position we took. They were not happy with us. But we sat up there and took the, a beating. Well, trust me, it was a beating. Yeah, but it was right when I first got on the board. Do you remember yeah, what I'm talking about? Yeah, you were the chair, and, and, uh, and Ron, Ron was getting beat up real bad on that. Yeah, yes, and, and my point is, is that that's the type of scenario that you, with, with the way this is written, we get in that we get kind of back slapped because it's approved, and then it comes back to us. And, and then they expect somebody people find out about it. And then they come to this meeting and beat up on yourself or us to stop it. And it, it, and that's not really the position that we're in. 
Well, I guess, you know, I, I think we agree with Glenn that if we're going to really use this, then it needs to be re, re looked at. I would agree. I, I would I'm imagining, and just so it's going to give you a little insight in my thought process, I'm imagining a situation where almost you leave things as is, but kind of remind, keep reminding council that if they're not really sure, you know, don't, don't really have a strong feel for the project, that's when they send it back to you to really mm -hmm. dive into it. And so, for example, this pathway project, we're going to have to make a decision. Are we going to put the pathway on the north side or the south side? That's going to be the consultant's first, first you know, effort to analyze the north and south side. Maybe I would plug you into that process where you actually re review the report. You look at it. You say, yeah, we agree or don't agree, and pathway should mm -hmm. go on X side or something like that. And then it goes back to Common Council. The Board of Public Works recommended that you proceed with the project and put the pathway on, you know, that side of the street. Mm -hmm. Those kinds of things, you know, have them kick stuff to you as needed. If, if, because it is, I mean, we had one meeting last month, lasted until two o'clock in the morning. I can tell you that as much as, 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 you know, it takes a lot of effort to be a Common Council person. I just don't think they have the capacity to completely read all the reports that we put in front of them. You know, here's one agenda item. Here's how thick it is tonight. <laughs> you know, so so those kinds of issues. That, that's just a lot of reading and, and comprehension of and digestion of technical facts. And I would I would imagine a, a situation where they almost use you before they rush into something and make a decision they might regret. They say, let's kick that to Board of Public Works and have them come back with a recommendation on. How we should proceed with this or the PPII projects? You know, does that does that really make sense to you know mm -hmm. follow this path or something like that? So, so I, I would have I would I would add one more comment to this. This is 19.9. It, it says it right in its description. Procedures for commencing project, um, and then it goes through our A B C D E and F actually and if I understand the way that you know the first thing it says uh, initiated by the following methods at regular meeting of the council and then you give three and then it gets into these other things it's almost like you're this is for just starting the project it's not for running a project or and and, and what we're describing in our pre in our in our suspended motion here is a project that is well beyond, well, well past commencement. We have an architect, we have do, uh, plots and designers already here. And as I said, we started late in the game. For the so my point, and that's typical for us, is we're not part of the commencing of the project. We're not saying, council, do this. We think this is a good idea to do. What we're doing ha has nothing even to do with commencing the project. And I would argue that we don't have to follow this because this talks about the commencing of the project uh, in, 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 in our recommendation on the building expansion because that process has already been commenced by the council and other boards. So, you yeah. know. Does that make sense? I, yeah, it yeah. makes perfect sense. I'm staying here. I'm missing my other meeting because I've discussion <laughs> so when you go back to that other discussion item it'd yeah. be nice to make your motion and I'm, I'm thinking you probably want to say that it, you know make a note that 19-9 does not apply to that project but again open to any comments that you have regarding that project okay and I, I think we beat, beat this, this one, one up, up. Okay. yeah pretty good I think I agree with Glenn as far as coming up with some Maybe cleaned up verbiage for this mm -hmm. and uh, revisit it again sometime. This doesn't require any action on our part. This is mainly for review. It's for, for discussion tonight, and I'll come back next month. So. Okay. So we did it. We discussed the heck out of it. So, so may I make a motion to table this? There's no motion. No it's motion not, necessary. It's, it's not listed on the agenda next. as a topic. It's just got yeah. something that's being presented to us. I do it for next month. So there's. So I'm going to start putting on these agenda items for next month. So, for example, you're going to see another item where someone has requested the gotcha. stop sign. I follow. I Not, follow. Don't discuss it tonight, but there's some information there. Oh, that's so, what that so is. that you can actually start thinking about it. You can actually see the reasoning. 
you get your gotcha. packet next time, and you'll be a little more prepared to talk about so it. So there's no action for us on this. On neither discussion. one of those. Thank you. No, nothing on either. I, I like that. Have a good night. Okay, good night. Thank you for your input. Okay, going back to um, number six, campus expansion project. Um, do we need... It's already been started. Oh, okay, so, see, you see where I'm coming from? This has already been started. It's, it's, it's a commenced project. We don't have to follow this. Sure. Does that make sense? Yeah. I mean, I, I think what, what Glenn may be looking for is, you know, still maybe recommending to continue the process with to this project. continue the process. But acknowledging that, acknowledging that, it does that this does not fit within 1990C because this project has already commenced. In Correct. Our, in and... Well, and some of the bullet points in 199C, you know, Wait, this isn't a directly related drainage sorry, project, so it's not completely yeah. applicable. But and Tyler, if I understood Glenn correctly, the project goes out on the street tomorrow for bids. It will. Yeah. Okay. What's the bid duration? Thirty days. Uh so the ad runs for two consecutive weeks, and we open bids on May May second, I think. Okay. Yeah. So then I would have. Pardon me. They'll be out for about a month. And it would have to go to Common Council for approval. Correct, yeah. So once we get the bids and open them and evaluate, you know, we would take that recommendation, our recommendation, the engineering staff and DPW to Council. So, so, if, so from this board at this point, if we, if we made a, a motion that said, uh, we recommend you, we, we recommend you go to, we, we approve you, Taking this out for bid tomorrow is that a um, action that says our intention? I I don't know that that does because we did already get council approval to 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 bid it out. Um, you know, in some of the public works projects, like you know, the, the road program every year. We do come to you guys first and get your recommendation before we take our preliminary list to the finance committee and to common council. Yeah, so yeah. There are some that we do follow that process. Um, you know, Glenn kind of mentioned, this came up after we had already, this, this ship had sailed as far as this exactly. commencement. So, um, yeah, all of a sudden they're putting us in the pilot seat is the way it's kind of looking. But see, here's my question, and let's just say you had some radical group in here says, no, we don't agree with the project, we're putting a hold on the whole thing. Does this does this Board of Public Works have that kind of authority? I think that could be a dangerous territory. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I think it would be the, I think that, that in that case, it would be a, if you guys felt that that person was making a compelling case that you would recommend to council to stop the project, you know, that, that type of thing. You know, I mean, yeah, I but this see, is kind of a, you know, and that's the issue with 1990s, it is kind of a circular thing. Right, you know, I'm, you make a recommendation, they kick it back to you, and it just goes. But um, back to the for the campus expansion, I guess I I think we're just looking in as simple probably it's just a recommendation to continue with the motion process. to recommend to continue the process. Yeah, is that what you're looking for? Continue Acknowledging with? that you know hmm. this continue. project is not a, or 199C does not apply to this to this project. Right. Continue with the bidding and uh, where it's at. I mean, it's so you know, a long way it's got to go before yeah, it, yeah. it gets approved. Yeah. And I envision we would bring at some point, whether it's before or after award, whatever council decides, we obviously bring updates to you, you know, what, what's moving forward, what's not. So, well, so you're looking for a motion to Okay, so so how about this? If I I'm gonna try to put together a motion, okay? Or have you got one kind of figured out there, Miss Beth? Um, I've got a motion to recommend to council to continue the project as proposed, and that municipal code in nineteen dash nine C is not applicable for this project. Thank you. Good. Um, right. You might want to state a reason for that is that the project is already commenced. And I would make the motion as she would. But you want her to make the motion. Well, if, you want to, if you want to, you can. I'll second that. Okay. Okay, then you're going to make 
the, the motion as she presented it with okay. the okay. additional as she as she wrote with the with the, little with, with the little cleanup on the that that the the reason is because it's already fenced. Okay. And um and Becky's gonna second it. So that's it. I didn't hear that. <laughs> the you, the last motion time. is to no, no. recommend to Common Council to continue the project as proposed and Municipal Code 19.19-9C uh, is not applicable for this project as this project has already commenced. Yes. Jonathan made the motion and uh, Becky second. So that's the part I didn't hear. My apology. No, no, no problem. So is there any further discussion on this? Um, at all, and hearing none. Uh, unless, it, well, sorry. Unless you guys have any comments on the site, I know you guys haven't had a ton of time, so yeah. to look at it. Well, and like I said, the only thing that I thought of, I was looking at it from a size standpoint, and thinking, well, should it be bigger? But then again, you've also got budgeting constraints, and you've also got future expansion built into the design, so that kind of covered that question. So, does Did anybody you, go ahead, John? I was going to ask, how, how has everybody that has been that is on this board have have we had been at a meeting at the public works garage? Yes. We've had we've had them in the past. I don't think you have, Carp. No, but I've you, spent a lot of time down there. You, okay, so we're all good. I'm just making sure that people are aware that they've been walking through it and they've seen it and know, know how crowded it is. Okay. All right. Well, if there's no further discussion. I guess all those in favor of the motion as stated uh, signify by saying aye. Aye. Aye, aye. and uh, opposed, hearing none, motion carries. And thank you very much for uh, the good questions and excellent conversation regarding this. Um, that takes care of item six. Item seven, we beat that up a little bit, but that's also on the future agenda thing, so that's gonna come back to uh, to us for some further discussion. So I guess I'm going to ask as they blend to maybe take some time over the next month and review um, um, this item and come up with any thoughts or. Go ahead. Uh, okay. You, that was 7B. We haven't looked at 7A. And we got to. I was just finishing that because we were on it. Thank um, but review, review this and maybe have some ideas on how to maybe. Modify or whatever this uh, code to make it work better under our current way of doing things. The other item that's going to come up next month, future agenda item, is request to remove stop signs on Sharon Lane and 39th Street. We're not going to do any presentation on that tonight, right? Just I, I mean, I could run through it really quick. You want to go through it really quick and then we can sure. at least kind of think about it. Yeah. Um, over the next month and then yep so we don't have to go too deep into this one this is really just give you guys some background take a look at it and then we'll we'll bring it back next meeting i think the the resident may um if they're available attend next meeting who requested it so there's a in the packet there's an email um, a resident reached out to the city engineer um, requested the removal of um, some stop signs on 39th and sharon so i have it up on the screen here um, so it's between 51st and uh, 35th and just south of Forest Hill um, is this intersection here, and they're they're requesting that the, the stop signs east and westbound on Sharon Lane be removed. Um, you know, we've kind of talked about stop signs at nauseum here over the past couple of years, so it sounds like maybe I mean the, this resident's under the impression that I don't think that it is. No one else had been wanted it back in the day, but does engineering feel that it's justified? Uh, we have we have not had enough time to really dig deep into it um, that's part of the reason why we're gonna bring it back next time um, I know Glenn has spoken with the residents and I don't know if he's gotten out there yet but uh, no we haven't done a, any kind of deep dive on this one yet all right well it's gonna come up again next month and I guess I would just request you know if, if you have the opportunity to go out and just do a quick and you know and if any of us have a chance maybe to go out there and and drive it and see what you think of it. And, you know, these, so I like the idea of putting these future items on the agenda because it gives us the opportunity to maybe prepare ourselves a little bit better for future meetings. Um, 
The next meeting is can, can I make a comment on this? That I think it would be very important for the engineering department to think about as you're looking at presenting. Okay. Um, this topic of removal of stop signs has come up in front of this board. I mean, I can probably back to like 1998 when we were first putting together that warrant for the issuance of the stop sign, for the, for the placement of the stop sign. And we actually looked at it and tried to put together that we had a number of big questions. Number one is when you remove a stop sign, you have people that now anticipate the stop sign to be. And so now, it, it, people, there, there's a lot of create, there's a lot of possible problems that get created when you remove a stop sign, even if it wasn't a good stop sign to begin with. And when you remove it, do people slow down? Do the pedestrians think they can walk across without looking? You know, because you know, they've been doing it for all these years. There's a, there's a lot of issues. And we, we were never able to come up with a policy for, for not only one removing the stop sign, but a procedure for removing a stop sign that, you know, how you would implement that procedure. You know, so I think that I think some thought to that process uh, should be in conjunction with this. Sure. I, I, I agree. I'm, I'm sure when it comes up for further review next month, we'll everybody on the board will bring that up and discuss it and lay it out. Yeah, I, I just bring it up to make sure that you're yeah. aware because uh, it's been brought up previously. Uh, I the one stop sign that when it went up that we got pushback on is on Grexel Avenue at, oh, is it Forest Hill that goes between the two schools there? They, they put up the stop sign on Drexel Avenue uh, between oh, yeah, uh, I know you're about. Uh, between the uh, elementary school and the middle school there, the road that runs in between the two. And where it crosses Drexel, we put the stop sign on Drexel. And the next month, we had, mem we had people saying, remove that stop sign on us. We, we did not. But that's when this whole, that's the first time I remember that topic coming up. Well, it'll be on the agenda next month, and we'll give you some opportunity to think about it. Um, before we close, does anybody else have anything else or not? Hearing not, we'll schedule the next meeting for Tuesday, May 14th, again at 6 p.m. Uh, do I hear a motion to adjourn? Motion to adjourn. Thank you. Uh, Ken made the motion and seconded. I'll second. Becky's going to second it at uh, 6 59 p.m. Thank you very much, everybody.